Hi everyone! Google Ads provides you with tools to run A-B tests in your campaigns. In this video, I will walk you through the experiment tool in Google Ads so you can learn running successful experiments in your account. To find the experiment section in Google Ads, go to the campaign menu on your account and click on the experiment page. This is how the experiment overview page looks like. We have some options here, all experiment, custom experiment, add variations, and performance max experiment. Actually, we, have, we need two of them, custom experiment and add variation. I will tell you what the difference between them is and how you can create each experiment. When you go to the experiment, overview page, there is this bold button, big large button, create experiment uh, for adding broad match keywords. If you click this uh, window appears, I, I have never created my experiments like this. So I strongly suggest do not click on this one, create experiment. There is this plus button that you can create and you can click and starting create your custom experiment. What is experiment? You can run two campaigns uh, side by side and test different elements in those campaigns. You can test um, keyword match type. One campaign, let's say, has uh, exact and phrase match type. The other campaign it has broad match type. Or you can test bidding strategy, for, for example, one campaign, let's say target CPA or an, another one target ROAS. Or if you are running a brand campaign, a uh, campaign for your brand keywords, you can test, let's say, manual CPC and target impression share or target sh uh, impression share compared to target CPA. So you can test multiple bid strategies. Both campaigns will perform with the same keywords, everything, uh, same settings, same locations, and at the end, you can review the performance to see which one performed better. Now we created on the we click on the plus button to create our own experiment A/B test. There are some options here. The first one is performance max experiment. Uh, could be useful for maybe shopping, uh, shopping uh, campaigns, e-commerce uh, accounts. But for lead gen accounts, uh, I've never seen. I mean. Anybody run an experiment between search campaign and performance max campaign. Usually people run a search campaign and an additional performance max uh, next to that. There are other options for demand gen experiment in, on YouTube, video experiment, uh, app experiment if you have an application. And this one optimized text ads. For text ads, uh, we will try add variation. And custom experiment is the one that uh, almost all the time I click on it. I use this option, custom experiment, to create my A-B test. You select your campaign type, whether it's display or search. My campaigns are search campaigns, so I go by the default one search. Click on continue. Here, first you give a name to your experiment, so you can... Mm, recognize your experiments when you are running multiple tests. Uh, for experiment here, I can, for example, say, let's say for this campaign, I want to test hmm, keyword match type. My existing campaign, they are using exact and phrase match type. I want to run an A-B test with another campaign with broad keywords to see which one performs better, uh, the existing exact phrase or the um, test broad campaign. So I call this one um, broad, let's say, exact phrase versus broad. You can put a description if you want. Base campaign is your existing campaign, the one that you want uh, to create it into a, an A-B test, an experiment. You want to run experiment in that campaign. So you select your base campaign here. I select it here. Now, your trial campaign will be your variant, version B. Uh, based on your experiment name, uh, the 
uh, Google Ads will put the experiment at the end of your original campaign, your uh, base campaign. You can change the name, whatever you say or uh, you want. Uh, so put it as uh, just broad, like this. This is the name. This one here is the name for your trial campaign, your variant B. Okay, we selected our campaign. We can to run an experiment. We set the name, save and continue. Now you are in the settings of your test campaign, your variant B, your new version. And I click on the campaign. What do you want to change your campaign? You want to want change one element. There are some best practices for A-B tests. When you run an A-B test, everything in both versions is recommended to be the same. Only change one element. Uh, here, I, I just want to test the match keyboard match type. Don't do a test for match type and bidding strategies in the same experiment because in the end of the test, you won't know which element, which change resulted in your in performance change. So we want to only test one element in any kind of A-B test. So this is my A-B uh, my trial campaign variant B. I click on that. I go to the keyboards uh, keyboards because I want to change match type of my keyboards, right? I go to my search keyboards. I select all my keyboards. Because I have both uh, match type exact and phrase, I just sort them based on match type. Okay, let's do something match type. Uh, for now, I just uh, select my match type uh, phrase because I want to change my match types to broad. Then I will pause the exact uh, keywords. Select all my phrase. Keywords, uh, let me see if I can find an option for change match type. Here it is, change match type, upgrade to broad match. Apply. I'm waiting for my phrase match keywords in the version B of my experiment, my variant campaign, new campaign that I'm just creating to change from phrase to broad, which it change. As you see, I have all this broad. Now I want to pause my exact match type because uh, when I'm running broad, I don't need exact match type here in this experiment. Again, I filter based on keyboard match type. This time select exact. Selecting all exact uh, keyboards and pause them. It's uh, implementing the change. So here yeah, all changes are implemented. All my exact match types are paused. Now I will only have broad match type in this trial campaign. If you wanted to test any other element of your uh, campaign or on any other kind of a, a, uh, experiment, you can do the same. Just go to that setting, uh, whether add copy, add group, location, audience, or be the strategy. You go, you go to settings and change that element. Now that I change my element for the test campaign, I click on the schedule here. For experiment goal, uh, you can select two metrics uh, to say what you expect from this campaign. It doesn't uh, impact the performance of A-B test, just that in the result, yeah, Google Ads will tell you whether you reach these goals or not. So with this change, what I expect, my conversions to increase, what I would like to happen. This is your hypothesis formation, actually. Uh, for another metric that I, another goal that I can select, cost per conversion decrease. So my hypothesis, hypothesis for this 
uh, A-B test is that I want my convergence increase. If I change my cam my key, uh, match choice from exact and phrase to broad, the convergence will increase and the cost per convergence will decrease. Experiment split, mm, I, I leave it at uh, default 50%. What it means that 50% of traffic from this experiment will go to your base campaign, to your existing campaign, and 50% of a uh, experiment will go to the trial campaign. That's what I want. That's uh, what a good AP test is. For the advanced test, you can uh, uh, select either based on search base and cookie and cookie base. The default is cookie base. Uh, cookie base means that uh, each user will see only one version of your ad, one ad from uh, one campaign only when they search. But for search base, uh, a user, if they search multiple times, one time they might see version A, base campaign, the other time that they search, they might see to trial campaign. So the recommendation is go to, is to go with the default one, cookie base. So you, because you want to, the user to see only one version of your test, either base or trial campaign. For the next one, uh, just settings, uh, experiment dates. When do you want to start your test? Uh, today is June 15. Uh, I started by 16, and the duration I set it as 60 days for two months. And uh, this is the end end date, August 15. Enable sync. What it means is that if you turn it on, any change that you make to your base campaign. Uh, automatically will apply to the trial campaign too. So if you change, let's say, if I, during this test period, because it's a long time, 60 days, sometimes I want to make some changes, whether add keyword, pause some keyword, change bid strategy, change budget, anything. If I make the change uh, in the base campaign, to, in the original campaign, I don't have to go and uh, apply and make the same change in the trial campaign. It will automatically sync the changes. Any change in the base campaign will happen to the trial campaign too. If you turn it off, then the changes from base campaign won't sync to the trial campaign. Well, it depends on you which one do you uh, would you prefer, but for my case, I want to be on because I want any change that I make to the base campaign automatically uh, uh, be applied to the trial campaign too, uh, to the variant version. Why? Because it's an A-B test. Everything should be the same in both campaigns. And yeah, we just made all our changes. Now we are ready, ready to create experiment. If I press this button, create experiment, my experiment start will start from tomorrow. Uh, if the budget is $100, almost half of the budget goes to campaign A, uh, $50 to campaign A, $50 to campaign B. But it's not based on the budget, it's based on the traffic. So it's possible that the budget won't uh, distribute exactly the same equally, but uh, the traffic will be the same. Sometimes your campaign A will run in ad auction or sometimes campaign B. So this one, uh, this was the concept of experimenting Google Ads. There is another option. Let me cancel this one. As you see, this is the one that we created. Uh, it's not uh, created yet. We are in the setup because we, I didn't uh, press on the create uh, button. So this is draft version here, the experiment that we just created. There is another tool in Google Ads in the experiment section called ad variation. Ad variation is the same concept, some kind of A-B test, but uh, the difference is that in ad variation, you won't have the second campaign. You won't run two campaigns. For ad variation, you will only test your ad copy, whether it is landing page, headline, description. To run an A-B test for ad copy, you don't really need two campaigns because everything in the campaign is the same. Just each ad group will have two versions of your ad. It makes the process simple. So now I'm in ad variation. I select my campaign. Let's say I want to change my landing page. I select my campaign, the responsive search ads. 
now this is where you filter your ads to say what ads do you want to change what do you want to change your ad my final url for example uh, let's say my final URL contains uh, one specific word. Let's say it calls, uh, what can I say? Mm. Final URL one. Let's say my final URL, my landing page, current landing page, the URL contains this uh, URL. I want to test and test it with a new landing page. So I filter all my, all my ads that have this uh, element in their URL, press continue, and I say update URLs, change the whole URL to uh, a new URL, let's say finalurl2.com. So what I did, filtered all my ads based on their URL, uh, everything contains final URL. I go to my create variation and say that update my URLs, upgrade my URL, change change them completely with this new URL, finalurl.com. There are other options too. You can filter based on headline, descriptions, headline and descriptions, and other options. And in create variation, here you have find and replace. You can replace a an element of your URL or you can update text I go with update URL press continue you set a variation name let's say landing page a B test again a start date end date for 60 days and experiment split again 50%. 50% of traffic will go to add uh, original ad version one and 50% will go to version B. And that's it. Uh, you will uh, create your variation. You will have only one campaign, but each ad group will have two ad copy. Uh, the same ad copy, just different uh, URL. You don't need to go create a new URL uh, manually and the difference is if you want to test it manually let's say you don't use ad variation you just create the new ad uh, new ad version new responsive search ad the new final url in your campaign the difference is that you cannot guarantee that uh, the traffic will be split equally maybe uh, google recognizes that one version as a uh, is performing better has higher click through rate for example uh, Google is very possible that will allocate most of your budget, most of your traffic to that one version. So you cannot uh, test it equally you because you don't have enough data. The data is not equal. So this was the concept of ad variation and experimenting Google ads. They are very useful. You can run experiments, for, as I said, for match type. You can run experiments for bidding strategies or and any other element and for ad variation you can test different version of your ad uh, let's say final url or headline and description i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions about how to run a successful a b test in advertisement and in google ads let me know in the comments thank you